We got Pedro. We got Pedro on the EGPU. Yo, what is up my beautiful people? This is a modular EGPU with an NVIDIA graphics card inside of it. And this is also a modular EGPU with an NVIDIA graphics card inside of it. I know, in this tiny package, we got a 4060 inside. Let's check it out, let's talk about it. Okay, so before we check it out, let me just say what it is. This is the SGW Zone Gaming AI Box EGPU Dock, and it's claiming to be the first compact modular gallium nitride EGPU Dock. And just so you know, SGW stands for Super Gamer World Zone. So let's open this up and check this out. And I'm gonna tell you why I believe this is the best EGPU for your ROG Ally X and other handhelds. I really think this is the best compact eGPU for all of your devices that support eGPUs, whether that be Thunderbolt, USB 4, or Oculink. So let's see what we have in the box so far. Look at this, you guys. Here is the eGPU box itself. It's in there very nicely, so that is good to see. It's not gonna you know, be bouncing around in the case. Set that to the side. Let's see what we have on the other side. You get the power cable, the USB or Thunderbolt cable. This is the Oculink module. Check this out, you guys. This is the replaceable Oculink module. We're gonna put that in there and we're gonna uh, check it out in uh, just a moment here. And then you got a tool to open it up. So that's pretty much all you get, a nice case. I do like this case. Uh, we're gonna take this out and put this to the side. So you guys, let's get this thing all set up and Let's see what it's all about. But before we do that, let's take a look around the eGPU itself. What do we have as far as ports go? Now for the ports uh, on the front or whatever side you want to call this, the, the left side, I guess you would call it. If this is the, the top, this will be the, the left side. So on the left side, we have USB-A um, 3.2, and this is going to be the connection point. So this is actually interesting. This is the only eGPU that I've seen that has uh, USB 4 or a Thunderbolt, and then it has another Thunderbolt. So you can actually connect another Thunderbolt accessory and daisy chain up to six devices, they told me. You can actually daisy chain on that second Thunderbolt port. So one is gonna connect to get you the uh, graphics connection, and the other Thunderbolt port is gonna um, allow you to connect uh, other Thunderbolt uh, peripherals. Now on the right side of the eGPU, this is where our ports are gonna be for connecting to a display. We have, of course, the power connector, um, display port, and you, uh, HDMI, USB-A, and another uh, HDMI there. Now, the ports are actually good here, so this, uh, this display port uh, can support up to 8K60. The HDMI can also support up to uh, 4K60, or you can do 2K144 hertz, or 1080p 244 hertz, or even up to 5K uh, 30 hertz out of these two HDMI ports here. So yeah, that's the ports, nothing else to see here. And we have ventilation, of course. So let's plug this thing up and let's see why I believe this is the best eGPU for the ROG Ally and all the other devices that support eGPUs. Let's um, get into it. Let's stop wasting time. Okay, you guys, so we have it connected to the RG Ally X, and as it's warming up, let me just tell you about the specs of this eGPU uh, here. It is the desktop 4060 RTX. It has uh, 3072 CUDA cores, eight gigabytes of GDR6 graphics memory, a frequency of 1830 up to 2460 megahertz. It has a default setting of 115 watts, and it also supports uh, DLSS3 and the, uh, I guess the, the gallium nitride power supply in here is actually uh, 240 watts. So it's gonna give the GPU 115 watts default and it's gonna also give uh, 90 watts out of the, the, the port for charging. So those are the specs. Now, let's get into it, you guys. Let's, let's stop wasting any time. Let's get into the performance of this thing because we wanna see what we can get with this eGPU, and we wanna talk about why I think this is the best eGPU 
for your RGLI and all your handouts. Now, disclosure, um, the company did send this out to me, but here's the thing. I actually reached out to them because I saw this EGBU. I said, there's nothing like this. I need to try this thing out. So I reached out to the company and they were kind enough to send this over for me to check out for you guys, but I'm not being paid for this. Um, they didn't like, you know, tell me, you know, in exchange for any sort of, you know, money or any sort of compensation. They just sent it out to me to make a review for you guys so you can check it out and see why it's so great. But I actually do think that it is great. I'm gonna give you guys my honest thoughts and opinions on this, but just disclosure, they did send this out to me to test, but I actually reached out to them first because I thought this thing was very special. So let's do some, some tests, some benchmarks, and let's see you know how this thing actually adds um, you know power and graphical performance to your RG Ally and uh, other handhelds. Okay, so you see we have the RTX 4060 here. Um, now let's run some, some benchmarks and see what type of performance gains we can get with this eGPU box here. Okay, so the first benchmark we're gonna be running is the Returnal benchmark. We are at uh, 1080p uh, high settings, no upscaling, so no FSR or DLSS, of course. Now let's run the benchmark and see what type of performance we can get. Okay, so it's about 80% done here. It's looking good. We've been, we've been hovering around the, the 70s here, which is pretty good for this um, 1080p high settings. No upscaling at all. So I think we're going to see some decent performance in this benchmark here. And um, yeah, we, we may be surprised at the gain that we get with this little 4060 here. All right, you guys. So we got an average of 75 FPS in the Returnal benchmark here, 1080p high settings, no upscaling, no FSR, no DLSS. Now I'm gonna let you know right now, we're gonna run this on the Ally uh, by itself. And I'm gonna tell you this right away. I play this game at like 1080p low with FSR to the performance and it gets around 45 FPS. So we're already almost double that and there's no upscaling at all. So we're gonna run this same test with no upscaling on the ROG Ally X and see what it can actually do. So yeah, let's check that out. Okay, you guys, we're at the same 1080p uh, high settings, no FSR, no um, upscaling at all. Let's run the benchmark and see how the, the Ally can do. All right, you guys, so the benchmark is almost ending. It's not looking pretty, it's not looking good right now. It's not looking good for the Ally X. It tried its best, but it's just working hard. This game is uh, it's hard to run, especially at 1080p high settings with no upscaling. Let's see what it was able to do. 27 FPS, you guys. 27 FPS at uh, 1080p high settings, no upscaling. Compare that to 75. That is a huge increase in performance, you guys. That is amazing. You run from 75 to 27. Now, of course, you will probably use upscaling or FSR on the ROG Ally X and other handhelds, but this just goes to show you the raw performance that you can get with this 4060 uh, eGPU. And this is still just using Thunderbolt. We haven't even got to the, the Oculink port yet, but this is exciting from 75 all the way down to 27. So yeah, that's off to a good start. Let's get into um, the next test and let's see how it does there. Okay, so we're in Cyberpunk 2077 now. We're gonna uh, run the benchmark uh, again at uh, 1080p high settings and we're gonna see uh, just how much performance we can get with the eGPU here. So let's just make sure we are at uh, high settings. All right, we have high settings. We're gonna turn off FSR and all you know resolution scaling or upscaling and let's apply that and run the benchmark. All right, so we're running the benchmark now, 1080p high settings. Let's see what this RTX 4060 can do. All right, you guys, so the benchmark is done. Check this out. We was able to get 63.99 FPS at 1080p high settings. No upscaling, no FSR, no DLSS, just raw 1080p high settings, 64 FPS. Uh, so let's, let's run on the RG Ally and see how it compares. This is exciting. Over 60 FPS, 1080p high without any upscaling. That's awesome. So that means we're gonna get pretty much a lock 60 without even um, using DLSS or FSR or anything like that. So that's huge. Let's see how the, uh, the RG Ally X internal GPU does with this uh, 1080p high settings test. All right, we're on the Ally now, um, 1080p high settings. Let's run the benchmark and see how we can do with the internal GPU. All right, you guys, the benchmark is finished, 1080p high, and we got an average of 25.77 uh, FPS. So 
we went from 64 to 25. It seems like, you know, we're going from uh, the 60 and above to, you know, less than 30 in these 1080p high uh, tests. Now, of course, you use you would use FSR, you would use upscaling if you're playing this game at 1080p and you wouldn't play at uh, high settings, but this just goes to show the raw performance you get when you use the um, RTX 4060 uh, eGPU. We're getting over two and a half times the performance at 1080p high settings from 64 all the way down to 25. So that's an amazing improvement there. Okay, so this is a part of the video where I show you guys how this eGPU is actually mo uh, modular. So this is the Oculink uh, adapter or um, port here. So we're gonna put this inside of the eGPU here and I'm gonna show you just how easy that is. And then we're gonna test out um, a device with Oculink to see uh, the benefit that we can get from using the Oculink connector with this eGPU. So let's uh, get to it. Okay, so it's actually fairly easy to uh, replace the um, the module here. All you need is the uh, the tool here that they provide in the uh, the box and a small screwdriver. So let's open that up. There's four screws on the on the top here, so we just loosen those four screws. Okay, so if these four screws are uh, loosened up, you can take off the uh, the top here. Now, there's going to be a connector in here. Um, this is for the display there, so you're gonna just wanna gently uh, disconnect that there. So we'll just gently disconnect that cable here, set that to the side. And here is the module right here. So it just has one, two, three uh, small screws there. So we'll just unscrew these three screws that's holding the module in. Okay, so the module's gonna pop up, sort of like an SSD. So you can just give that a little, a little pull and wiggle and then it should come out. You have the module here. Now this metal piece on top is a, a heat sink. You're gonna to wanna to take that off and then set that to the side. Get the, the Oculink module, line up the, the heat sink on top here, and then just slide that into place in the, uh, in the spot there, in the socket. You just wanna push it in uh, gently there. And the one last thing we wanna do is we, want, we need to replace this uh, little uh, port cover there. Okay, so here's the Oculink port cover. Just gonna wanna uh, slide that into place there. You're gonna have to line it up uh, carefully. There's a small little uh, slit in there for you to line that up. All right, once you line that up, once you line that up, push it down all the way, and you can push down the, uh, the module there, and then you just wanna tighten up those three screws and put it all back together. Okay, so we have the Oculink module in there now. Now let's um, set it up and run some tests. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna have to split this video up into a part two because it's getting way too long. But let me just give you the, the whole idea of why I think this is the best eGPU for your ROG Ally X and other handouts. So as far as the price goes, right now this is on Indiegogo for $6.95. And that puts the price in line with the other competition like the GPD uh, G1, which is around 700 to 799, and the 1X GPU, which you can find online for around 650 to 699. So this is right on par with those uh, other compact eGPUs, but you get the benefit of it being modular. So you can switch out the ports from Thunderbolt to Oculink, but, you can also replace the GPU processing chip that it's inside of this eGPU box. And that's what really makes it amazing. So the fact that you can upgrade the ports and they told me to let you guys know that they are working on a Thunderbolt 5 module right now. It's in um, prototype and testing phase. So that should be coming soon. So we can, we're, we're gonna be able to upgrade this to Thunderbolt 5 very soon. And when the next uh, generation of uh, GPUs come along, so maybe the, the 8000 series from uh, AMD and the 5000 series from NVIDIA, we are going to be able to upgrade this GPU. It's using the uh, MXM uh, GPU uh, chips. So you are actually able to open this up and replace the GPU chip inside of it when there is an upgraded version available. And I think that's what makes this the best uh, compact eGPU 
use for your RG LIX and all your other handhelds. You're not just stuck with the 7600M and they're not gonna be able to upgrade. So when the next generation of chips come out, you're gonna have to get a new eGPU if you're rocking the uh, 1X GPU or the, G, uh, the GPD G1. You're gonna have to upgrade the entire GPU. With this, you just buy the, the processor, put it in there yourself, and then you can extend the life of this eGPU here and that's why I think it is the best. Now I know this video is way too long. I'm gonna have to do a part two testing more things. I just wanted to let you guys know that this is an amazing eGPU. Um, so yeah, it's modular, modular ports, Thunderbolt 5 on the way. We have Oculink, USB uh, or Thunderbolt already in there. And it's, it's just an amazing package. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see where this is gonna go in the future upgrading the chips i'm going to make sure to uh stay on top of this when you know next year if, if a new chip comes out and they have that available i'll make sure to keep you guys posted but right now i think that this is the best egpu because it has the most potential the fact that we can upgrade it the fact that it's is modular you're not really tied down to any port selection or even the uh gpu processor itself and i think that's just amazing also this screen you can actually make whatever you wanted to make check this out we got Pedro. We got Pedro on the eGPU. Yo. <laughs> I know this is stupid. I know this is stupid and childish. But we got Pedro on the eGPU. That automatically makes it the, <laughs> the best eGPU of all time. I don't know what else to say. Uh, I'll, I'll probably do a whole video on that. But this video is way too long, you guys. I just wanted to let you know. Amazing, amazing performance. Amazing package. Amazing potential. I think this has everything you need if you are considering an eGPU. So I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. You know, let me know if, if, you're, if you're feeling it. If you're not, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And as always, like, subscribe, ring that bell, all that great YouTube stuff. I gotta make another video dedicated to this because this thing is awesome. It's too much for one video, you guys. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Still testing the ROG Ally X. Uh, a lot to go through. But anyway, see you guys later. Peace.